Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, Director of Praxis Center, and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about Providence um, and what that means. And this, this video was suggested by a commenter on, and a subscriber to this uh, channel who asked me to talk about Providence, and I think um, what he actually meant was to talk about provenance. And so um, I'm going to talk about both things. This video is about uh, providence and the next week I will make a video on provenance. Um, so provenance, just to be brief, is about the history of, uh, of, of, of a works exhibition and its value, but I'll talk about that next week. This week we're talking about providence and providence is also um, referred to as divine providence, right? So what does that mean, divine providence? And what does this have to do with being an artist? Well, providence is, um, is is often thought of in a religious term. You know, it's it's a kind of a um, a generalized caring, uh, as if a god is caring, or if um, if the universe, so to speak, who wh whatever it is that you think of as kind of outside yourself that affects you, is having an effect on what you do. Um, luck and and being in the flow, as as we say now, could be providence, right? Divine providence. Um, you know, how, how an artist comes up with what to paint or what to write or what to draw, where ideas come from is divine providence, right? It's a kind of divine guidance, right? How do we, how do we choose what to do next with art? How do we choose whether to be brave enough to go to a gallery or whether to take another path and find other ways to sell work or share work? This is all providence, right? This is all a kind of inner guidance, divine guidance, so to speak. Now, I'm, of course, making this this YouTube channel as uh, very much a person, and I'm giving advice that's very uh, straightforward. I've written a number of books on this, and they're very um, uh, clear and outlined steps of how to get what you want in the art world using a variety of paths. But one thing I don't talk about is, is divine providence, is what it means to to just see what happens, right? There are many stories of artists who, you know, something just just happens for them. You know, they seem to be guided and they and they get lucky in different ways. Um, not long ago, I was talking to a, a friend, um, a poet, and began telling me about his life and 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 how um, and how things worked out for him how he was at one point given a house and how he sold that house and was able to live off the proceeds of it. It was a much longer story, but basically, you know, he was not someone who ever had a, a strict job and the strict jobs that he had, he didn't like. And, um, and so you could say he was very lucky in a way, but also he was guided by something that was perhaps outside himself, or you could talk about it as being within yourself guided by the universe, guided by God or Allah or however you want to talk about it, or, you know, guided by your art, right? He was a poet, you know, your, your artist listening to this. So to be guided by your art, to use art as what, as what is creating divine providence means your art is creating a kind of guidance, a kind of a path for you. Often you hear artists as well as curators uh, sometimes say the artist will say that the painting, how do I know the painting is done? The painting talks back to me, you know, and, and so as an artist, you probably know what that means. You know, is this painting working out right? Is it, is this drawing the way you expected it to be or, or, or not? You kind of have a dialogue with a drawing, which is a very, very kind of unearthly sort of thing. What does that mean for a painting to talk back to you? Curators talk about having having an exhibit where all the paintings talk to one another. That's something that most people have no idea what that means. But as an artist, you know that your art can talk to you. It can not only talk to you, it can, it can fill you with uh, tremendous joy and, um, you know, or sadness or other feelings when it's done, when it's completed or on the way to completion. So this process of making art itself is divine providence. It's one way of thinking about it. It's one way of thinking about what it means for there to be a, a, a figure, so to speak, that was traditionally thought of as, you know, God, the universe, Allah, all the names for that. Um, but, but thought of as, you know, who, who's guiding our lives, who's guiding what we're doing. But as artists, you're, you're in a very 
unusual place in the world where you're creating yourself and your creations are coming from somewhere that's um that's not logical right you're deciding what you're going to make when you make it and there's not a lot of planning in it and when it uh, and when it happens or even if there is planning in it and a lot of planning there's always a kind of uh, mistakes or magical moments that that so to speak that that change the direction of what you're doing so today um, this talk on divine providence is about um, recognizing that as an artist there is a guide within you that allows you to not only continue to make art but that allows you to continue to make the type of art you're making or to change the art you're making and you know you could also call this luck but that's not quite it it's more uh like a type of channeling um as it's been called something comes through you right something is guiding you to paint something's guiding you to write a poem so um i'll leave you with that today and i, and I hope that's helpful that is um a kind of explanation and artistic definition of providence, of even divine providence. If you have any comments or other talks you'd like to see, don't hesitate to comment below.